Good morning, this is George Latimer, Westchester County Executive, and uh, this is Monday, and we're here for our COVID conversations, 11 o'clock hour in the morning, uh, here in the Westchester County Office Building, and I'm joined uh, on, uh, on Zoom by uh, Sean Mead, who is the General Manager of the Cambria Hotel here in White Plains, and he's also head of Westchester's Hotel Association. Sean, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. We, were, uh, we had a conversation last week where the Hotel Association had a board meeting that I participated in electronically. And uh, this is an industry near and dear to my heart. This is where I was a marketing sales and marketing executive for 20 years of my life, although uh, not uh, contemporarily. And uh, the industry is one that is always very affected by whatever happens in the economy. When the economy starts to hurt, uh, the hotel industry is almost always across the board, one of the first industries to suffer. So um, with Sean here today, Sean, you know what's happening in your particular facility and those of your member facilities. What's the, uh, what's the new normal these days? Sure, thank you, Mr. County Executive, and thanks for having me again here today. You know, the new normal in many ways will be similar to the old normal. Most of our guests, most of our visitors, uh, cleanliness was always the most important thing when traveling to our hotels, and it will still continue to be the most important thing. Now, a little bit more of an emphasis will be focused on sanitation of the rooms, sanitation of our facilities. Sure, we're gonna look a little bit different. Um, our, our employees are wearing protective gear that they haven't worn previously, although some have worn previously. Our house key, um, guest room attendants who service our rooms um, usually wear gloves, uh, face masks sometimes as well too. Um, you'll see at our front desk area right now, there is a, a little bit of a barrier, a uh, plastic barrier between the front desk and our guests looking to check in. Um, so for the most part, we're still in the hospitality business. We're still taking care of our guests and we're still taking care of our employees. The, um, the markets that, that the Westchester hotel industry uh, has enjoyed in, in, in the best of times, which you know were the times prior to this pandemic taking uh, hold, uh, base oftentimes around the corporate business traveler, whether it's the individual traveler or the group meetings that come out of the corporations that are based here. And we're still blessed to have IBM and MasterCard, uh, PepsiCo, uh, Regeneron, a number of the major US corporations based here. And then US operations for places like Heineken, Danone, North America, uh, and then many, 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 many other companies. I assume that business travel is down dramatically. What's, what's the trend that's happening right now? And, and how do you foresee the future of that travel? And obviously depending on what happens with our uh, battle against the disease. Sure. So that segment, the uh, corporate business traveler, um, that's been hit the hardest immediately. Uh, there's basically no more corporate business travel to our area. The majority of our guests that are staying with us now are here somewhat related to the, um, to the COVID-19 epidemic that we're experiencing. Um, the other segment that's been hit uh, and it's been devastated is the large groups and meetings. Um, that's going to take a, a long time to rebound as well. Um, however, we do feel confident, um, you know, we, as you mentioned previously, we do feel confident. We've had uh, these downs in the economy before. This is a little bit different, um, but what's great about the Hotel Association of Westchester County is we have 40 hotels, uh, 40 plus hotels in Westchester County, uh, and we all communicate on a monthly and quarterly basis. So we're able to take a lot of this information that's coming through, and we're able to put our competitive differences aside for now, and we're able to work together uh, again, to protect our employees first and to protect our guests. Um, that's the game plan for us for right now. Um, as we start to see business pick up, the first segment that we see to come back will most likely be um, the social room blocks, the wedding room blocks, right? It'll be in a smaller capacity, but a lot of those have already started um, rebooking for the third quarter. Um, once that starts to, to come back a little bit further, you'll start to see some of the business corporate uh, bookings come back as well, the Heinekens and MasterCard, uh, IBMs, um, those will be behind them. And then the, the last but not least will be the larger uh, groups and meetings. I know there's a, there's a pent up demand uh, within the county for uh, catered functions and the kind of catered functions where you have the annual dinner or the annual luncheon for XYZ not-for-profit organization or whatever those types of groups are, um, you know, and that, that may not be the heart of, of the profitable business that you get, but it's an important uh, way to use your function space. I assume you hope that that portion of the marketplace will come back 
once we reopen as these groups that had June and May events, April events now will start to try to book them as soon as they can. Certainly, and some of these events have been rebooked already for future dates. Um, a lot will be determined by the guidelines that are you know, passed along to us. Um, we've been in communication with our local government, with you, and um, you know, we'll be waiting for the guidelines on that to see what we're able to perform. You know, I've also been, been very impressed by the generosity of uh, the hotels uh, here in Westchester County. Uh, and I'd like you to walk us through uh, some of the efforts at Cambria uh, yourself have been particularly generous, but some of your other member organizations in the 10 for 10 initiative have really stepped up to, to take valuable product at a time when you need every dime you can get and still make it available to people in the healthcare industry and so forth. So Sean, tell us a little bit about how the industry has really responded to the community in this moment. Sure. Well, we certainly saw an opportunity to help out our local Westchester residents, especially the first uh, line responders. Uh, so another added benefit and value of the Hotel Association of Westchester County um, in being able to communicate very frequently with each other is we saw an opportunity uh, where we could help out our first responders. And the way we did that was with the 10 for 10 initiative. Um, a few of our hotels were able to offer comp rooms to local Westchester first responders. Uh, instead of them having to go home to their houses at night, they were able to stay in our hotels. Um, you know, some of these first responders, they lived with family members who might have been sensitive to the virus. Um, we were able to give them a, a clean hotel room and a safe place to stay. Um, some, you know, we think we had over 400 uh, donated rooms in Westchester County. Uh, Kevin Johnson of the Doubletree in Terrytown. Um, we also had the Holiday Inn in Mount Kisco, Stephen Patton, Wendy at the Comfort Suites in Nanuet are all big contributors to this. And, um, you know, over the last month or so, uh, I think it's about 450 room nights almost all together now. We've been able to donate to our first responders. And it's important for them when they're in these hospitals and, you know, the amount of hours that they're working for them to have a, a, a nice rest when they get done with their long weeks and long days. I'm very impressed by the, uh, the, the cooperative effort that you described in one of your earlier responses. Um, it's been a long time since I was in this marketplace in the industry, uh, dare I say, over 40 years ago. But in those days, there was very little competition because there was very little product. Uh, the, uh, the Hilton, uh, which uh, currently exists, if closed, the Doubletree, then the Tarrytown Hilton product. I was with what is now the Renaissance. Uh, there was no, uh, no Ritz-Carlton. There was no uh, Crown Plaza in downtown White Plains. And a lot of the other things I've seen in 119, none of that existed. And uh, the market you know, had a certain amount of that corporate business. So we found ourselves... Um, almost in spite of ourselves booking business. It's a very different marketplace now and you do have to compete. And yet you found a way to bring people who naturally compete. And particularly when you work for corporate entities that are larger, they have financial expectations for these units. They're, they're, not, uh, they're not giving you free reign to do whatever you want when you want. So how have you really been able to, to get that cooperative spirit together in such a competitive uh, world? You know, it's not just our industry. You notice every single industry in Westchester County at this time is working together. Uh, you know, for us, the sooner we can be get back to business as usual, the better off we'll all be. Uh, a good story for you is uh, Monica Henry at the Crown Plaza around the corner from the Cambria Hotel, White Plains. Um, in our weekly communications, we're speaking with each other. I was low on sanitizing wipes, waiting for a future order to come in. And she was low on hand sanitizer for our uh, Purell dispensing unit. Um, we made an even swap. She ended up giving me a, a bundle of hand sanitizer wipes and I gave her some uh, Purell. And those are the types of things. You know, first and foremost, we need to make sure the people who are either working here or are staying here are protected. Um, these are somebody's mothers, brothers, sisters, right? And so we need to be able to bond together and help each other. Um, and that if we continue to help each other, this area will be safer for our guests to come back. And that's the message that we want to send. We're willing to put a we're going to put aside our differences and work with each other to make this a safe environment for everybody to work and to stay. Uh, so it's a very positive message. I recall being told once a long time ago in a different market after I left this market, uh, where they said, you know, you have to compete with the other guys, but you never know who you're going to have to walk customers to. So try to stay on a reasonable <laughs> relationship when, yeah. when, the, when the going gets tough. Um, what's your sense of, of uh, how you would operate going forward as an industry, not necessarily your particular property, given the requirements for social distancing and so forth. Uh, the governor is now uh, going to be requesting all businesses in every industry and the county as, a, as an employer that we come back with uh, plans 
that uh, would represent how we're going to enforce social distancing in our everyday realities. And of course, in a, in a hotel environment, you, you're populated by people that are coming and going. It's, it's not a controlled office environment where there's 35 people and there's the same 35 people every day that you have to deal with. Uh, what are some of the thoughts that you've had and some of your colleagues have had about uh, when you reopen the doors, what other kinds of uh, things are going to have to happen in order for you to feel comfortable and frankly for the guests to feel comfortable because at the end of the day the individual consumer has to be comfortable that they can travel and feel safe wherever they go otherwise they won't travel and uh, you know that that's part of uh, you know the effort to try to bring business back to where the levels it was before sure of course um you know, when, when you mention consumer confidence, that's going to be a really big part of this, right? When are consumers going to feel confident to come back and travel to our area? You know, we see that first coming with people using automobiles and cars uh, to travel. Uh, airs and trains might be uh, a little bit behind that. Um, but what it's going to take is for us to be clean, us to be sanitized. But I think more than that, educating our, the people that work in our hotels and also the people that are coming to stay in our hotels, um, you know, how to travel safely. One of the initiatives um, that has come out of this is the uh, Westchester County Task Force on Economic Recovery. And it's made up of over 40 different business leaders and private sector leaders, um, public sector leaders in, in Westchester County. And we're so fortunate to have the Business County of Westchester, uh, Business Council of Westchester, uh, John Rabbits, Marsha Gordon. You know, we put this together. One of the things that came out on the first call is you can come to the Cambria Hotel White Plains downtown. We could be the safest. Uh, sanitized, our employees, our guests can all be educated on what to do right, but how do you get to the hotel? If you're flying in through Westchester County Airport, um, how does that person flying in on millionaire uh, private charter who gets into a Red Oak uh, car service to get to the White Plains uh, Cambria Hotel, we all need to be on the same page with each other and how we offer and how we protect our guests and the consumers. But keep in mind, if you're not going to eat at the Cambria Hotel, you're probably going to one of you know many of the fine restaurants in Westchester County too. Culinary is such a great uh, selling point for a lot of our uh, hotels in Westchester County. Uh, Peter Herrero from New York State Hospitality Group um, is big time with uh, restaurant groups here in Westchester County. He's part of this task force, so we're going vertical, at, you know, not just horizontal. Where we're looking at the visitor coming into Westchester County uh, from start to finish, and we think that's going to be a big part in putting back the consumer confidence. Well, we hope that. Uh... We hope that the county government headed by an old uh, hotel salesperson is going to be helpful to the old industry that I came out of. And uh, your success is our success and not just from the crass uh, revenue that you generate from sales and occupancy taxes, but from the vibrancy and, and the sense that Westchester is a place that people want to move to and want to do business in oftentimes by the way they experience it when they visit it for the first time and they see it as a, as a desirable place. And oftentimes, Sean, that's the impression that you leave with them more than uh, anything we can do in county government. So we appreciate uh, your whole industry and you as the head of the group that you take time from running your business to, uh, to organize your colleagues in the hotel industry as well. Great, thank you. We've been talking with Sean Mead, who's the general manager of the Cambria Hotel in downtown White Plains. He's head of the uh, Hotel Association here in Westchester County, uh, an industry that has been directly affected by the economic impacts of this, uh, this, this virus. And yet, uh, in talking with Sean, you get a sense of his optimism and his, uh, his ability to, to, to work through difficult situations successfully. So uh, Sean's been our guest today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another conversation along uh, different lines, but hopefully all adding to the dialogue of where we are uh, as a county in this uh, pandemic. And then we'll be back at two o'clock this afternoon to give you an update on statistics. Uh, we'll talk uh, a little bit about a few other issues that deal with us as we, uh, we start to look toward what the society looks like as we reopen, uh, as well as how we handle the pandemic that we're dealing with. I'm George Latimer, Worcester County Executive. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and we'll see you at two o'clock. Thank you, Sean. Thank you.